الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين When Brother Jaha came, he asked me to come and join him on this occasion. He did not tell me more than I need to speak for a few minutes. Then I was surprised to see the topic I was given, which is doing our maths right. I wondered why would Jaher consider that I don't know anything about math? And how to do it right? It was a surprise. Now I was good at math in school, but there was a stage when I said I will have nothing to do with math. And today I know nothing about math except arithmetic something. Generally speaking, we don't, we Muslims do not seem to do our mass right. I'll tell you of one occasion when I was attending a fundraising uh, gathering for a mosque. And the, the brother who was urging people to donate and to say, to, to, to give generously because there's something an investment with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he said to them you will earn a profit of 700 percent that's what he said 700 percent of course that sounds really great considering that investments in recent years were below one percent now, 700%, I was listening, I thought, how, how can he say this? He is underselling, he is underselling uh, the, the investment very badly. How come he says only 700%, only, only 700%? When you do something good, what, what is the reward? What is the reward for a hasana? Hmm? Sorry? What is it? How much? How much? Hmm? Ten times. Ten times. So that is, what is percentage? What percentage is that? Hmm? If you invest 10 pounds and you get, you get at the end of the year 100 return, how much is that? That is a thousand percent. That's a thousand percent. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مثل الذين ينفقون أموالهم في سبيل الله كمثل حبته. Those who spend for God's sake is like a seed which gives seven ears, in each ear 100 seeds. So that's 700. So what is percent, what percentage is that? It's 70,000%. 70,000 percent. 70, and he was saying 700 percent. That is where we do our math wrong very wrong. In Islamic work, we need to do our maths right, certainly. Why? Because this is a deal with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not a deal with human beings. It's not with a building society or a bank or whatever. It's not something you place something and hope for a return. And in order to get that, if you tell somebody, I am investing something for 70,000 percent, 
what is the catch? What is the catch? Because if they would think that there's something beyond imagination. And this is how it's given Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is without, with, beyond imagination. The catch is that we have a definite goal. I'll tell you something. Some 40 years ago, I was in Germany and I was attending a, a meeting when someone who was fighting in Palestine against the occupation was giving a lecture about his experience in how to, to fight the Israelis. And after the lecture, someone asked him, I have a question. All this work you've done, how does it get us nearer to our goal of establishing an Islamic State? That is before ISIS. See, Islamic State. And the speakers looked at him, did not answer him for a while, for a couple of seconds. He left him in suspense. He said, I have a different goal. My goal is to go to heaven. Whether it comes through an Islamic state or through a different thing, because I don't care. What I care is to get Allah's pleasure and be admitted into heaven. If that is the goal, that is the ultimate of our mass, then we need to know what do we need in order to get that equation, that result, get to heaven. That is the destination, and I want to get there. The first thing, there are several things that we need to, to, to be aware of. The first thing is that we have a trust we trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's promise. He has promised us certain things, and we have to have that trust. Allah fulfills His promise. We may, not, we may fail in our promises, but Allah will not fail in His promises. What he promises us, we have to have sincerity in our work. <clears throat> that is that sincerity, that devotion, that sincerity and devotion. We are committed to a goal, we need to achieve it, and that is to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to serve his message with sincerity trusting that he will accept our work and he will reward us for it. Without this sincerity, nothing will be achieved. And for this sincerity to take place, to be in place, we need to devote our efforts to it. Devoting every time, every minute of our time every thought of our mind to serve that purpose, that ultimate thing. We are here in this life, we are in a test. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this test for every one of us in different ways. And he said this to us in the Quran, Several times, you will be tested in your wealth and in your bodies. We shall test you with fear 
and uh, hunger and other things. Uh, so, and, and we have to pass this test. If you do not pass your test at the end of the year, what happens to you? You stay in, right? You are retained in your class. But this life is a test for you, for me, for Ajman, for the chairman, for everyone. And we need to pass that. And we pass it with tireless effort. That tireless effort continues from the first day to the last day. But I will tell you something. When you live longer, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you a greater chance. The longer you live, the more you give. You have to have this in mind. The longer you live, the more you give. And why is that? This is the reward. Your reward will be greater. Two companions of the Prophet were very good friends together, very friendly together. And one of them died as a shaheed. Not indeed heaven. And the other died a year, a year later. And one day, another friend of both came to the Prophet وسلم, and he said, Messenger of Allah, I saw in my dream my two friends. They both were in heaven. But the one who was not a shaheed was ahead of the shaheed. How come? How come? The one who lived a year longer was ahead of the shaheed. And the Prophet said to him, Hasn't he prayed 6,000 rak'ahs for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Hasn't he fasted Ramadan? When you multiply 17 by 354, the 354 years, the days in the year, and 17 rakah of obligatory prayers, that makes 6,018 or something like that. That's arithmetic. So, but we need also to make sure of our sins, of our sincerity, of our devotion, of our trust in Allah, our efforts that are made for Allah's sake and not for anything else, not for any gain in this life. And this is something very important. The Prophet Yusuf السلام, said when he was declared innocent after several years in prison, he was declared innocent. He said, Wama uberri nafsi. I do not hold myself innocent of everything. I do not absorb myself. Wama uberri nafsi. Why? Because there is something in our heart, in our self, in our souls, which says, oh, this is a game, this is something all right. This is nice, I want to have it. The message then for doing our maths right is to do what we can. Trust to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that it will bring you to success. When you started this place ten years ago, what did you think? What did you expect? The depth of becoming a hub for The depth of becoming a hub for product. Uh -huh. But did you expect to have this place in this shape with all this, with these children being educated in the Quran? Did you expect this? No. No. At the time, in 1977, I negotiated the purchase of a place for at that time, 300,000 pounds. And I was thinking always, all the time, when we were in the process of negotiating and buying and uh, 
and all thinking, it is too big for us. What can we do, manage it? What is the uh, purpose of all this? The first Jum'ah we had, we had about 60 or 70 people there. Now, in that place, there are 2,500 attend Jum'ah. Start doing, leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and He will bring it, provided that you have the sincerity that is something, a factor in your arithmetic that you have to do it right. And what is the mission? What is our mission in this life? Our mission is to follow the Prophet Wasallam. His message was to bring mankind from darkness into light, from the worship of idols to the worship of Allah alone, and from being enslaved by one another to being the servants of Allah alone. This is what I understand about the subject you assigned to me. <laughs> and I hope my maths are right. Thank you.